As if Allah just gave us everything we wanted. Imagine that. Imagine if we, we'd already be in Jannah. But imagine if we'd ask Allah for whatever and He'd give it to us. We'd be ungrateful. We'd be like our children. How many of you had children? If you have children, I have three. Do you give them every single thing they ask for? No, you would ruin them. You would ruin them. And half of the time, they, they're very angry when you don't give them what they want, right? They get upset, they pout, they, they run up to the room. And at the end of the day, you know why they need you. This is for your own good. This is the way Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala deals with us. He does not give us what we want. He gives us what we need. He gives us what we need. And a lot of times, He gives us what we deserve. So if we ask for something, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will either answer it for us, because he knows we've deserved deserving of it. He'll withhold it from us because he knows if he gives it to us, it's going to be a means of fitting for us. It's going to be a test for us. Or he reserves it for us and says, I'll hold this for you and give you something greater on the day in which you meet me. So either way, it's a blessing and a benefit. Know that every single dua that you make is answered by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. This is something we have as a certainty as Muslims, is that no dua goes unheard. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in Surah Al-Baqarah, to tell those who call upon me, I listen to them and I respond, so call upon me. It might just might not be the response that you were looking for. It might be the response that you were looking for.